people who've been here like five years in a row. Wow, there they are. Well, who was their first time? Hey, welcome. Welcome to the con. Oh. You all having a good time? I'm going to ask a question over and over. But, uh, awesome what's that? Having an awesome time. Awesome, dude. Excellent. Any cool stories to tell? I'm at AC Race Fest. You, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at Saber Spark. Nice, cool. Any other stories? What's up? I'm at Chris Chan. Chris Chan was here? Yeah. What? No kidding. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. How about you? I play at concerts. Nice. How about you behind me? You met Dr. Wolf? Yeah. Awesome. He's a cool guy. How about you with this video? Very neat. How about you? I'm hey, oh, wow. awesome. <laughs> well, I'm taking me on my son. Uh, my pants not today. Awesome. Best character. Okay, my opinion. <laughs> How about you? Very cool. This is Mr. Dusty Cat. Yeah. How was the nice. concert? Yeah. I missed I missed Alex. You were asleep. I, I went to I was getting ready for the concert, you know, but then I laid down and I woke up at 8 a.m. and I'm like, I think I missed it. <laughs> slightly, I missed it slightly. Oh no. Uh, Tardy! Yeah, no. I got water. Ooh, ice cold water? Nope. <laughs> Room temperature water. Absolutely. <laughs> So yeah, we, I have we a little bit of money left. Not a whole lot. Last night, because Saber at around dinner time was going on about how excited he was. He's like, guys, we're gonna have such a good night. We should stay up till like 3 a.m. Big plans, you know, watch the episode, uh, just hang out, go down memory lane, watch some old honey YouTube videos. Nah, I feel like sleep. Never made it. The old man that I am. I'm just gonna drop some stuff off in the room. Never made it back. <laughs> Never made it back. Well, how are you all doing? So this is uh, this is kind of cool. I think it's the first time we're doing a no, the second time we're doing a podcast panel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. at least second. At least like second or third. I don't remember. Yeah, because we've been we've been done it done it like so many conventions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, first off, thank you all for joining us here. This is going to be a kind of just a fun panel. Essentially, um, we got kind of like two podcasts up here intermixed. Yeah. Really. Um, we have the semi-perfect podcast. Anyone that watches that out there, any of our regulars? Thank you guys for always tuning in and joining us on. We do those on Wednesday nights and they every other every other Wednesday mm -hmm. night at uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time or 9 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, we're don't forget where you are. You're right. <laughs> you also have the podcast hosted by Paleo here. Yeah, on the on, podcast. yeah, a live podcast on YouTube called POS Podcast. And then um, we do that every other Monday nights at like 9 p.m. Eastern. And the two podcasts are offset from each other. So yeah, though they, they might be on the same week, like after this, because like at 30 con, like we're probably going to have it. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're not going to have it tomorrow because we're just going to be here. So. I'm going to sue you. Oh, no. <laughs> so we'll have next week. I don't want to single this guy out, but I just want to see. I really admire cosplay. The knight in shining armor. Dude, that's awesome! We're ready for the end of forms tonight. I would not mind wearing that as I walk around the harbor. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Unless you fall in the harbor. Yeah. This is a battle on the no. Go swimming. Um, so, yeah, essentially what, what we do really is uh, with the podcast, we talk about entertainment, movies. Um, just a bunch of random stuff. Semi perfect. We also have a bit of a focus on My Little Pony. We'll typically talk about the new episode that came out. Conventions coming up. You guys probably talk about like when you go to conventions and the US. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, we mainly talk about like movies and entertainment. So. Yeah. So it's there's uh, a an overlap. We're both podcasts. Love talking about animation in general. That's a big. Yeah. One. Yeah. We like animation. Do you guys like animation? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So a, a big part of this podcast uh, is Q and A. We just want to talk to you guys. We just want to see what you all have to say. You know, don't be shy. This is one of the more it's Sunday so afternoon. Let's all just chill out, have fun, shoot yeah, the breeze. This is like our last panel too. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys want to hop right into it? Yeah. So what what we'll what we'll do is uh, I think we're gonna have a line. Let's see. Yeah. Right here with the microphone, 
And we'll have a, a line there. And again, this can be any question for any of us about just about anything. We do have kids in the audience, so we'll always keep Take that in consideration. Or at least be two. This is a uh, question panel. Yes. It is Sunday. Oh, yeah. Uh, should, should we, like, I guess, we'll concern it. Like, I'm Felix Steno, AC Race Plus, oh. Save a Spark, and here's Sashi again yeah. on there, who's uh, on uh, my pa on my podcast, the uh, US podcast. And sometimes he's on the US and I the podcast. He's a good friend of ours. Yeah. In fact, I think I'm the only one not on the US podcast up here. Yeah. Keep it that yeah, way. You're on it, like, every so often. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. When you're like, okay, I guess we'll tolerate him. Mm -hmm. The backup, backup. All right, and we'll answer. Uh, I question. see. I see our first question. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's one sauce. Woo. Woo. <laughs> um. Do I need a mic? Yeah, you can go right over to this person. So you're gonna start the trend. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it possible for us to move the line like actually to this row? Yeah. Is it yeah. cool? Yeah. Put it like in the back corner. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. The escalator. In the other panel room. Just yell it out. It's a powerful. That'd be so weird. <laughs> so this is a really simple question I had for Saber. Yes. Did you pass out after you went to go clean all the shaving cream off your face? Is that right? You I didn't pass out. Pass out. I, I, it was weird because... He was actually screaming the whole time. <laughs> so the toothpaste was super like spicy in my face. It was burning. <laughs> So I went to the bathroom behind the stage, I started cleaning it, and the lipstick's red. So to me, in the sink, is all this red's pouring down. So I'm like, I'm bleeding. And I'm like, oh, oh. But it was fun. I just had to wash it off. How many, how many of you were at the Who's Line? <laughs> Saber is a very good sport. Thank you for uh, helping oh, hands. Yes. I, um, I ended up with some stuff on me as well. And what was interesting about it was some guy walked in and was like, are you OK? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> And I'm gonna just got some stuff on me. He's like, "Your neck's bleeding." And I'm like, "Oh, okay." And I, I go, I "Kiss." I go, Thanks for that. And I, I go into the bathroom. It looks, just, it looks like a red streak down my neck. And I'm like, oh, "That looks really bad." Yeah. So I saw the concern. Yeah. I can still smell the shaving cream. Right were you guys prepped for all that like shaving cream and toothpaste and makeup at Who's Line anyway? Like, so the way there's some games where we know the content going in, but at the contacts, it's all we have no clue. Like last night when we did the uh, Who's Line game, we read the cards off, that and the way it worked with like the Apple parents, we had no idea. That was just chance, and we we're like, cool. What are the odds of that lining up? Uh, but for the stuff in the bag, my girlfriend helped me buy that stuff. And uh, because we were in a hurry, I, I went by Kroger and bought some of the stuff. I went back, and, and we'll see what we come up with. And because and, and, we never know, because Gabe had no idea. I had no idea what he was going to do with his hands. Yeah. So yeah. essentially, essentially, like for, for that specific game, is one of the few that Saber. I think you were the only one who knew. Yeah. What was coming? Because it was it's at the last minute. Because we're like, let's do a hand. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Yeah. And we obviously need to get props to line up for whatever we're doing. So. Uh, but yeah, other than that, um, we have a, a good group of friends, including Paleo and Hero, and uh, my girlfriend helps out in setting up all the games, and uh, also a shout out to Panama Matt. Um, so they, they set up all the Who's Line games, and then we get thrown into the fire. <laughs> so we don't know what's coming. And that's, I, I prefer it that way, because yeah. I think I'd always feel like, eh, if, I, if I knew, it just wanted to go. But it wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Context. Yeah. That was that last uh, last time was our first time ever doing the hoedown song. Was that dun, 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 dun. And we all sing our own little ditty. It went way better than I thought it should have. I'm like, we don't think it was good, but at least we rhymed. So we made it to the end. Yeah, we did. I was like, wow, we did that. Yeah, we're not professional, by any means. We're just like, let's just get up there and try our best and pretend we're professional. Yeah. Hello. Hey, yes. Cool. No, did not expect to get this far at all. No, thank you. No, it's it's, it's humbling, I'll tell you. Never thought you'd make it actually too long. <laughs> <laughs> it was a five-hour trip of death. Yeah. Dude, it's funny because like you were saying, you all were driving. 30 minutes to Baltimore, we're almost there, and then there's a line of traffic just appears. Yeah, it's like we were like. Like 30 miles away is in two hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard that Baltimore traffic and DC traffic is like some of the worst in the country. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Like LA is like, don't drop some worse. And it's really bad. The plan is still a 
worst. What's that? Atlanta is still the worst. I was from Atlanta for a while. It's pretty bad as well because we're always constructing something. Anyone want to try the 405 during rush hour? No. See, you LA people are the four, the, the in, interstate, the blank. I'm not bragging. I hate the freeway. <laughs> the freeway. <laughs> oh, what's up? Uh, this is for AC. Hey. Um, a lot, remember a few panels ago, I think, you were talking about how you used to like to look in the bathroom mirrors? It's been 84 years since that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Have, have, you, have you seen the ones that are, that are around here in the hallways? There's like two big, massive ones, and they go on for like a good 50. You should check those I'm out. I'm going to be entertained for oh, like yeah. four hours. <laughs> I like to pretend like I'm like a, a Star Wars clone trooper, like, <laughs> yeah, marching. That is the first time I've ever heard anyone hype up bathroom mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> You're easily entertained. There's a song called, There's a Mirror in the Bathroom. Baby. This is not just a music song. Hi. Um, this is for all of you. Um, what would you say is the single most fun time any of you have had while recording your respective podcasts? Oh. <laughs> I like the time when we were talking about like triple threat pizza. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, we 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 were uh, like there's this advertisement for uh, Pizza Hut where they it had like a triple treat pizza. The box like, of a stack. Yeah, and it had like um uh, uh, cheese breadsticks, like a uh, pepperoni pizza, and then like a dessert pizza, and it said like triple treat, but we we misread it and thought it said like triple threat pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it like deploys out. <laughs> That was fun, because we take pizza very seriously on the Jewish podcast. <laughs> like we do, we really do, yeah. it's insane. Because like, one of our friends is a New Yorker. And, and are there any New Yorkers in the audience? You guys and your pizza. Like, it is like, you guys are like, no, that's not pizza. Come to New York, you love some pizza. And then somebody from Chicago is like, excuse me, I like to debate that. Try the bagels. The bagels from, from New York? Island. From Long Island? Mm -hmm. okay. I actually just had one of those by the co-worker just went and got some Long Island bagels. No doubt they are pretty legit. I was told that up north the air is different, which makes the bread taste better. Is that a thing? Yes. Like, I was told that by my girlfriend's like mom, and I'm like, from Georgia, I'm like, huh, we've got beaches. <laughs> well, was that? The water from the aquifer is on Long Island. I think that has something to do with it. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, like, the bread tastes better. I'll like, this is a good sandwich. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so for a saber, yes. I was wondering what your process is for your what ruined <coughs> all the videos. Sure. How do you decide what to do before starting production? Sure. Like, what's your process leading to production? How tell them if you're stupid or not. <laughs> That's <laughs> actually true. How many of you guys watch my YouTube content? Yeah. All right, thank you. I really appreciate that. So I've been for those of you who don't, I do cartoon analysis, animation analysis, sometimes like media analysis, where I just pick a topic and I'm like, let's talk about it. Uh, a big part of the process is. Whatever piques my curiosity, um, whether it's Cartoon Network, whether it's Disney, and then I go to my friends and I talk to them about it. Like all these guys up here are, are like my filter. Where I'm like, what do y'all think? Do you think this is a good topic to go over? And they're like, yeah, that's pretty cool. And like I, I present them some information that I research, and they go, oh, that's cool. Then I go for it, and then I, I write it, I proofread it, I write by them again, I record it, I get that recording chopped up and edited. And then I put it with some visuals on Sony Vegas timeline, and then I upload it, it gets rejected for copyright, <laughs> and then I edit it so again more, and then I re-upload it, and then hopefully by then it's ready to go. So that's my process. And also like the biggest part of it is for anyone who's looking to do content, like find something that really gets you excited. Like it could be something like completely dumb. To, to, wait, you might think it's dumb to other people, but I'd say passion's contagious. Like there are times where, where I'm like, wow, like I didn't realize, like my friend Matt, you know, Matt loves trains. I love hearing him talk about trains because he says it with such passion. And it gets contagious, it gets me invested. Which, which Matt? Both Matt's are in yeah. 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 Matt. Then. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They love trains, they know it at the back of their hand, and I'm like, this is fascinating to me. Yeah, trains, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kites, they <laughs> I like social media. I know. I know. <laughs> we, we all know. <laughs> You really turned that into a meme in a way. You mean it's not for the mind. It's, it's for life. Yeah. It's for life. Yeah. It's for life. Yeah. You want to name your daughter Judy? Uh, or, or son. son. Or son. Yeah. 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 Hey! Uh, 
Uh, question for you, Saber. Yes. Uh, so now that you've moved on to more analysis-based stuff on a more like professional level, mm -hmm. what's your opinion on a lot of your older videos that you've, you know, don't the older quality ones? Like, do you have something you're more proud of in those areas, or are you more kind of like ashamed of some of the silliness? First of all, you're, you're a professional. I'm not. <laughs> Thank you. No, I, I try to be. I, I appreciate it. So I just like his ego going too I, far. <laughs> I, by the way, so like I have close to like three hundred and thirty thousand subscribers, which like I'm like, whoa, wow. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Like it's it, it's really just about like being in the right place at the right time and then trying to maximize your time. So it is very long place. That being said, my old content was my old pony. It's my springboard to it all. Like my old pony fandom was huge to my life. I wanted to get my friends. I wouldn't have my current career. I wouldn't have my girlfriend. Uh, so it was very important to understand. Like and that old content, like I leave some of the videos up, like Battle of the Burning, the documentary, and some of the people. What's that? First video was Battle of the Burning. Oh, thank you. When I'll be what dummy I am, when I was writing it, I called it Ballot of the Burning first. <laughs> Ballet of the Burning? <laughs> and I was like, where is it? I'm from. I'm in college this time, so it's really embarrassing. But, uh, so a lot of my old videos were taken down, I'm taking down because I have a bad habit of like, I'm, like, I'm super ADD, so I'm like, no, yes, no, yes, no. And, and I'll race it, and I'm like, darn it, why did I do that? For nostalgia reasons, I miss it. He keeps everything, and I appreciate that. He's great at documenting things, you know, vlogs, that's one of his you know, things he's great at. But my old videos, uh, for the ones that are still there, I'm very proud of them. And I will never get rid of the big ones because they helped me to get there. And uh, I think for <coughs> aspiring content creators, I think it's important for them to know that no one just starts as, you know, like Han Solo for Harrison Ford. He was a carpenter and he did, like, he had a winter up there, and then boom, there's your big role. And that's how you find out this works for me. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to be uploading to another channel. Just so my, <laughs> my career people are like, wait, where did this come from? Not that I'm embarrassed, but it'd be kind of confusing for them with proceeding forward. Yeah, for posterior. Is it posterior or posterior? Posterior. Posterior for butts. For butts sake. For butts sake. I really was smart. I are so smart. I are so smart. I are working. Technically, by definition, you are still a professional. I guess. Like, are there any professional YouTubers, or are they, are they just like... Well, YouTube in general is kind of looked out on by the industry still, where it's like, yeah. there's a bunch of kids trying to make it big, but in reality, it's like, yeah, these kids are stealing their job. Yeah. Hey! Hey, man. Um, I was at AC's panel last night, and I was just wondering what... Whoa! <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> what your thoughts... I mean, what you thought when you found out that Chris Chandler was actually here at BronyCon. No, we just found out like right now. Chris Chan's an infamous person on the internet. Is it bad that I'm like... Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I, don't know. I don't know who Chris Chan Chris is. an infamous... Uh, What's the internet? <laughs> 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 what is this? Obviously, it's... <laughs> What, uh, what did you guys say? Since you guys, uh, we we just found out. Just found out. Like there was a town went to West LA and a and Eagle uh, uh, Raptor yeah, was, there. Right there. was there. It's like oh cool Eagle Raptor's here and, and Aaron was on stage talking about game drums and this is way back when so John Trump. So yeah, I mean sometimes you have people just show up and I was like wow. We um were, was it ever free? We're all from the voice of Gladys. Yeah. So, funny story. You all know Gladys from Portal. Yes. <laughs> it's a fun story. So I was in a room. And there was an older lady who was like, hey, uh, I need to be taken to this room. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I walked with her. And she was super sweet and nice. And she's like, oh, I've had some conventions before. And I'm like, okay, well, here's your destination. Have a good day. And she's like, thank you. And then later that day, I saw her in person and retweeted. She was like, having fun at this convention. And I'm like, wait a second. That's GLaDOS. <laughs> I was walking GLaDOS in the hallway without even knowing it. <laughs> and I'm like, I knew it. Done it. <laughs> <laughs> She's a she's a voice on the new Pacific Rim two trailer. Yeah, I mean, really she, she was in the trailer. trailer. There was a conflict with that where at first they're like, you can't do that, it's too close to Portal, and then I guess they got away with it. Yeah, so yeah. You did it again. You spoke well, twice. <laughs> Stop no touching things. Right here. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. It's guys. Yeah. 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 Hi. Yeah. 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 What can I do for you? 
So you just just scoop that up. <laughs> so I just, I just wanted to know what your thoughts and opinions about the supposed movie that's coming out. It's called Dragon's Lair by Don Bluth. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I hope it does get, because like, what they did, like, they like did like an Indiegogo, but it's not for like an entire movie, it's sort of like for a pitch for a movie. Um, and if that goes through, I really do hope for somebody picks it up, because I, I want to see more like 2D animation in theaters. So, like, like the LP movie coming out is like 2D animation. So. <coughs> Movies are expensive. Like, yeah. no Kickstarter could ever fund a full movie. It's more like using a pitch, where it's like, okay, we'll put together something. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Last night we were eating dinner, and uh, Noah came was sitting next to me, and every time I went to grab my drink, I kept hitting her menu away from her. Yeah. <laughs> she was just like, I think I'm gonna... <laughs> no, it's seven yeah. times. It was fun. Hi there. Um, I'm uh, looking into starting a podcast of my own relatively soon, um, but I'm still sort of figuring out what I, exactly I want to do, how exactly I want to do it. For someone who's just starting out, what are some considerations that they might want to consider? Like format, how it's done, basically you guys have been around, what would you advise you to offer to someone just starting out, things they need to I, I gave some advice to somebody about making a podcast earlier, uh, I think it was like uh, on Friday night. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing I said, I was like, maybe that came off the line. And I, I said, like, don't try it. <laughs> I was like, no, no I, I, did, I didn't Give mean, up. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean it like that, but I mean, like, don't try so hard. I like, say, are there any podcasts you're a fan of right now or you listen to? Okay. Well, it's. I mean, no, they are on YouTube. I'm in like a lot of deep. Like, you're, you're like, like Saber Fan, he's got like 500 and subscribers. We've written your recipe, you little flair put it into it. So, like, finding software. Do um, you know, like, the microphone? Uh, I've, I've been, I, I know about microphone stuff, yeah, I know how to like. So, so, <laughs> they're called the Jetsons. <laughs> okay, so basically. <laughs> Uh, cause find us like, uh, OBS, uh, OBS, OBS, OBS yeah. uh, is it open broadcast? Yeah, open broadcasting software. Yeah, yeah, download that, it's free, it's great. Um, as far as, like, finding out something to talk about, that's up to you. Uh, I, I kind of know that I'm still just deciding on details, I was thinking more stuff like the formats that you think or places I might want to think, two things I want to consider when I'm putting together the final form. Yeah, one, one thing, one thing that, uh, um, do on the POS podcast is that I, I find some topics to talk about. I find like like uh, about ten different like news articles about entertainment, and then um, uh, we talk about that during the podcast. Then afterwards, we do like a Q and A with um, uh, people on Twitter, and we, that's how we uh, like uh, structure ours. Yeah. And, um, there you go. Yeah, and just it's always important. Just like I used to be more of a, an audience person in podcasts. Back in the earlier years of the fandom, and like when these guys were running theirs and whatnot, I think it's really crucial to remember that when you're starting out, make sure that you choose a time and day that you can stick with. Because you yeah. do not want to be moving it around. Yeah. Right. If, if, unless you're doing like a pre recorded Yeah, if it's not yeah. live, then this isn't so crucial. But if you're looking for a live audience, it's definitely something. And plus, I always think it's, it's useful and maybe adds to the enjoyment. If you can get your audience involved. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good luck. Is there anyone here who hasn't slept all weekend? You're <laughs> <laughs> making me more tired. <laughs>
Yeah. I mean, Which one, Hirosashi? personally, I don't care for it. Like, really? I, mean, I, I think everybody's going to have their own, like, head I think, it, though, it, that kind of controversy makes the show stick with you. Because, like, people are discussing it, we're talking about it right now. So, I mean, Gindy knew what he was doing, and he had it end that way. Um, I mean, and who's to say they can't revisit it in the future? So. Well, he's in the end of another cliffhanger. Yeah, or at least it wasn't Powerful Girls 2016. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's stunning. But thank you for your question. I mean, not seeing it, I'm imagining it, like, it, it'd be like the Sopranos or something. But Samar Jack or Powerful Girls? Samar Jack. Uh, oh. No. No, it is like. No, I didn't. It had a conclusion, yeah, but it was just yeah. kind of like, really? What's up? <laughs> okay. If you could make one change to the show, what would it be? And nothing's utopia related. Thank you. Mm. Thank you for <laughs> I was going to say Sorry, Reese. Um, um, wait, to uh, MLP? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I would want more history episodes. I want to know more about Celestine. Yeah. Because Royal Problems, I love that episode. I'm like, I love this kind of dynamic between the two and that they aren't perfect. And let's dig more into that. Let's find out more about their parents if they have them. Let's find out more about Equestria and what's going on before the ponies show up. I want to see more of that. Okay. So, um, one, one thing I was thinking about is like, I think they should have waited a little bit longer to give Twilight Wings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not, not like the first yeah. season. Like, like more, uh, just more seasons along. To, like, yeah, well, I think, I think it's come of knowledge at this point that wasn't that initially. Like they're playing. Oh um, yeah. Series. Yeah, it was the most original then, plan, and I, I, I think they were like, oh, I'm not sure if we're gonna have like more seasons than three. Has was like, but we like money, so. <laughs> 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 Good for us. Money, oh, yeah. More seasons. Than yeah. So I, I wouldn't, I would change that and like have, have or, like get it towards more towards the end. Yeah. Uh, whenever, whenever, whenever the end is. I think they kind of had their arm twisted on that one. Kind of spinning, spinning off of that. I actually really did like when Luna and Celestia were the only Alec ones. They made yeah. them seem a lot more powerful. Um, I'm not really They're, they're not so much stuff. Right, right. I wouldn't yeah. mind seeing Luna and Celestia be more powerful more often mm -hmm. because it just seems like what they should be, you know? It's that fantasy that. aspect. Okay. Now there's four Alec ones. I was like, this is a special one. Oh, yeah, the baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting about the baby. I, um... I want to see an episode where they take all the animals from the Everfree Forest and they all kind of congregate and it starts to turn into like a Planet of the Apes. Movie. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, maybe like a Planet of the Apes. They, they, they can only be called any pony so many times until they revolt. <laughs> Don't kill animals. <laughs> okay, Sakura. <so> <laughs> she's, she's leaving them. It was weird to me in the pet episode how like there was like, a giraffe pet. And I'm like, but there's a talking zebra? So, yeah, what's it, going it, on it's here? Like, I, I thought it was like all, all like, moved animals. Like, they, they've got those, uh, claw yeah. hooves. Um, what's, what's sentient? You know, what can think in these animals? Because the goats, or with yeah. Iron Will, they're helping, like, yeah. as, like, in your... My turn. <laughs> yeah, that's what's cool. But yeah, but they were, like, communicating and helping, like, get the stage ready, but then there's another one on Fluttershy's farm. Who's gonna be a freeloader? For all we know, like, <laughs> I can't tell anyone. Man, what's up? Hey guys, AC Saber. Yes. Uh, let's just say, let me just say I've been following you guys since 2013, and every time, uh, Who's Line has gotten a lot better. Thank you. So, Thank you. I appreciate it. I genuinely mean that. Now, so that being said, I was just wondering if there was any kind of uh, you know extracurricular preparation that you guys do to you know work on your on stage chemistry to get better at uh, you know working off of each other. For, you know. <laughs> well, one thing that, uh, like with our group that we have on there, I think one thing that uh, works for us is that since we've been friends for so long at this point, we have a dynamic that we, we bounce off of each other. Like, you know, sometimes I can get an idea of where Saber's going with something in the game, and 90% of the time I have no idea where he's going. But, <laughs> but no, yeah, like chemistry is, is huge when you're improv and, and granted we've done um, improv games with people that we've only just met and did it and even those ones have gone well and it's it's fun it's I guess I guess the best thing really is just I want to say just do it yeah uh, 
you know, just get comfortable with the idea of thinking on the spot. It's funny because, I mean, by no means are we anything compared to Colin or, uh, Colin or Ryan from who's like, those guys are professionals, they're, they're gods of their craft. But I watched a video of when they first met on stage and it just clicked. They had chemistry right there. And you could see it in their eyes, and then they honed it over the years to like perfection where they know how to set each up for a joke, they know how to perfect their strengths or weaknesses. Let's call him when he can't sing. So Ryan will throw him under the bus, and it's hilarious. <laughs> and uh, I guess another thing like, that we do a lot is uh, like we'll just kind of, I don't want to say practice, essentially this kind of practicing, but we'll just be like walking down the street to Baltimore and then like, say we'll just start going, boom, 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 Thank you. Hey, thank you for following us and watching our content. Thank yeah, you. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Where they, um, they're going by the 
He's such a nerd. Uh, okay. So, the Teen Titans new movie, it was pretty good. Like, it's interesting to see that they're trying to make it all mature and stuff like that. Because, like, you have, uh, Tara was in there, but then they had this weird little thing with her and Slade, and I was like, okay, I get in the you know, 2003 series, that's okay, but this was like, uh, so where's Chris Hansen? It's just, yeah, it's a little, all those sort of things. It was, it, it was, it was entertaining, but I wouldn't say it was that you know, great. It was a well animated, though. Like all the DC talk. Cool, thank you, Jax. Yeah. Jax is a good friend of ours. Yeah. Woo! Woo! You guys like Teen Titans Go? No! You like it? You know, it's the funny thing is, I got cable recently and I watched it. I'm like, it's not a bad show. Cartoon Network just like drives into They, they oversaturate it. Yeah, they oversaturate it. Yeah. Is that the one where they're like kids? Yeah. It's like more cartoon yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's like like Yeah. 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 So do we. Yeah. 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 What's it like being up there and hearing? Yeah, this is a question for Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> we never hear that. <laughs> he's, uh, he's popular. He's a popular. No, I mean, I mean that's like for the for the React panels. The whole the whole idea for those isn't necessarily like, all right, all we're gonna do is talk about the Reacts. Because I mean, to be fair, I, there's a lot where it's like, and this is the race, and like, cool. I, but I always I always hope that everybody can like get words and. Work. There you go. <laughs> the person that I was talking to. Um, but no, like I, I, I love having those panels so people get the opportunity to be able to, like, for example, talk with Gabe. Because I know that he's not on too many panels, so it's nice to be able to. <laughs> what? No mics? No mics? What's up, Will? Hey, so this is for the Sigma and Kaleo about the Brave Chronicles. Because yes. I'm kind of curious what your thoughts are on the. Um, Perception that part one gun versus part two, because it's quite a difference. It is quite a difference. Yeah. So we did a, a documentary, you know, uh, back in 2013. Yeah, 2013 <coughs> was the first part, and 2014 was the second part. Yeah, we just talk about like the Bernie fandom. We interview people, just talk about like, who are who are Bernies, why do they do what they do. She's got an opinion or two about it as well. <laughs> I see a smile. So. Um, so part one got over half a million views. Part two got like I think 150,000. Yeah. So the way the way I see it is, split videos up in general. Part one, part two, part three. Typically, you see how it depreciates over time, just in general on YouTube. That's why nowadays a lot of folks say just do one big upload. Yeah. And also you paid more that way too. So that being said, I also think that the burning stuff, like in like 2010, 11, 12, people were like, whoa, what is this stuff? And it kind of now people were like, yeah, we heard about it. And people are. Yeah, there, there was like a race in 2012 to see like who could get their documentary out first. That was yeah, fun. John will answer. We'll beat them to the punch. And there's like, this bunch. We were at the premiere today. <laughs> yes, we were. <laughs> that was in uh, Los Angeles. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you asked them the question. <laughs> yeah. I forget what it was. No, but Matt, Matt's just there. He yeah, Matt's there. Yeah. Yeah. He, he really worked for them. Yeah. But no, we. Yeah, there's a view. The, the, Gap, yeah, and that's all right. It just, uh, I guess, this wasn't as a, as an interesting as a topic years later for people to be like, oh, we're on that too. It's about we have fun making it, and we're honored to have made it. Cool, thank you. See, you're you're saying that like the, the whole Brony topic. It's like, oh, you know, like 2014, people are like, oh, we're playing. Steve Harvey had it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know, it's crazy for me. Why so late? I think yeah, I, I, I was surprised to get. Surprised to get contacted in 2016. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
how I should think my life. Is <laughs> <laughs> somebody making YouTube? Yeah, a couple yeah, of them. Right. Right. There's a couple. Yeah. But yeah, and it was it was funny because like I was told beforehand that the psychologist were like, oh, the psychologist, he already knows what he's going to say, and it's it's real good. He's already met bro, he knows it's going to be great. Yeah. And so so I got up there thinking, oh, I'm going to have to, you know, I guess I'm not in a spot where I have to, you know, worry about. It. Yeah, we're just going to chat. He gets up there and he's like, yeah, you know, it's, it's great that you're watching the show, it's really progressive towards women and all that, but I feel like this kind of, like, livelihood can be really repressive, and I think you're heading in that direction, you've got to be careful. And I, all I had told him, all I had told him up to this point in the show is I'm a big fan of My Little Pony, I make videos about the show, and I paint up demolition derby cars on occasion. No, with my girlfriend. And and so he, he's like, yeah, it's getting really repressive, you gotta be careful. And I'm like, from what I told you, where is it getting repressive? I called him out and he didn't say anything after that. Grace takes things personally. And this is it, he won't get like upset, but he will definitely like throw it back in your face. You're like, okay, well, to be fair, you say that this is getting repressive, so explain to me how. And he was like, so Steve. Yeah. <laughs> There's a narrative, and that's not a big surprise for television shows where they're trying to throw under the bus. But from what you told us, you did a good job of winning Steve over. So, okay, so, yeah. <laughs> I knew I had the real Steve in to get him, like, on my side. And I kind of was, like, planning this out, like, okay, this is the direction I wanted to go. And unfortunately got cut right where I broke Steve. But what I what I did was I uh, you know he was finding out about the Brony stuff. He asked a lot of really off-topic questions in regards to it. Like at one point he was asking me about what movies oh, I yeah. watch. And I kid you not when I say he asked me if I watch any movies with black people, which my answer was yes. <laughs> it was such a I was like, why is he asking me this? Like, are we talking about a pony show or something? Um, and so, I'm like, Steve, here, let, let me tell you something, Steve. Because he's just sitting there like, this makes no sense, this is weird. And, um, I wasn't, by the way, I wasn't allowed to just acknowledge the fact that, yeah, it is weird, whatever. They told me not to say that. So I, I had to somehow tell him, we get it. Like, you know, it's not like we're walking around like, going, yeah, Wait, this is weird. Yeah, so so what I did was I'm like, Steve, after watching the first season, I got about halfway through it in about a day. And you know, I'm telling him how many episodes there's. And you know what, you know what? I looked in the mirror and I said something to myself. He kind of leans forward, he's like, What'd you say? I'm like, when I found out I was crony, I said, and I can't repeat what I said. Because there are children in the audience. <laughs> but the, uh, I did say that on national television, I was so excited. And, and Steve that. smiled at you. And that's when Steve's like... <laughs> I like you. <laughs> you messed up, but I like you. <laughs> he told me not to change, and then I wasn't surprised. He started giving like props to the whole idea of like, I love that you can go out in a demolition derby with a pink car. With, he called it Pretty Pony, and you do all this stuff. And um, Yeah, he actually I ended up getting a kick out of it. So I was like, God, right. you doubled down and you weren't budget. No, you were going to accommodate him. And I think he was going to I was like, no, I'm not, yeah, I'm not budget. I mean, this is, I love you guys. I love, I love this show. You know? like, yeah. What was your least favorite Bronies React to record? Uh, this is close to the same answer I give for what's my favorite Bronies React to record. Your favorite? It is my favorite. I don't know, for me, it's my least favorite. They're all kind of just, just go for it and they're fun. I'll say it. Generation 3 was painful. Sorry. <laughs> yep. I chose the first. You were the one who, yeah, yeah you did do that. <laughs> I wanted a Halloween episode that would scare some people. <laughs> Little did I know I was going to be mentally scarred. <laughs> now, now, to be fair, it was Gen 3.5. Like, gen yeah. The bottom of the barrel. Generation 3 I found tolerable for, you know, it's like, okay, I don't know who this is for, but man, can things get bad. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. How about you? 
We got uh, 15 minutes left. positive uh, experience you've all had, and what's one negative? Like, do you have a most or positive, like, most positive, most negative experience that any of you could clarify on? For, like, from the fandom? From the fandom, I think, yes. The very first running con. Yeah, well, it's funny. Well, not the very, very first, but, like, the, the one in 2012. Yeah. That was in Secaucus. We had a panel uh, on the panel, and it was back when we were, like, brand new to everything. Yeah, and we, and we were like, oh, we're on a panel? Yeah, yeah. whoa, we were representing some, something called Everfree community at the time. Yeah, it was like a podcast panel with a bunch of different podcasts, like a whole, there are a whole lot of podcasts. <coughs> like five different podcasts. Yeah. Been. And there was a, one person up there who won't name, who no longer participates in the fandom. Uh, very obnoxious, very loud. She like put her feet up, like right, let's say she, you're paleo. She's like, yeah, and she like put her feet up like right there. In front of like bare feet. Yeah, bare feet. And uh, it was it was pretty unruly. I mean, I don't I want hard harp on anybody for being excited, but that was really weird. And Paleo, I've never seen him so upset. He was shaking and he wasn't screaming, I had a light bulb. How light bulb? Like, Calm down. <laughs> I remember yeah, I was like that. I, 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 huh? I remember I was in the audience and I was looking at you, I was like, I've never seen Paleo so ready to kill an individual. <laughs> <laughs> We had to tell well, him. Then he met me, so. <laughs> <laughs> now I had to tell him to put your feet down. And, like, it's, it's, and, and that part we kind of like, he and I are like, whatever. They're, they're hog one of my, we're just going to chill here until it's time. And that's probably most negative experience. What about the best, though? I think to be on who's like hearing the audience cheer us for us and we'll put up with our shenanigans. Yeah, it's, it's like, wow. It's great. Hearing, hearing laughter. Yeah. I love that. And people come after us and hey, you know, thank you for, you know, brightening up my life. And it's like, oh. That validates our yeah. existence. <laughs> we love getting to meet as many of you guys as we can throughout these uh, conventions. We we try our hardest yeah. to be able to give you all like a minute of our time. To, I know sometimes we're walking in between panels, we're like, oh, follow us. Yeah. But um, we really do try to you know spend a little bit of time with each of you because it means a lot to us to have an audience. Yeah. And so we, we really appreciate that. And it's, it's very humbling. Yeah. It's awesome. We also. <laughs> Zootopia last year, and I was like, this is just my friends that I never get to see at a con just chilling in Zootopia, I would love that. Yeah. You won't believe this, but I didn't suggest it. I <laughs> suggested it. Hero's like, I gotta watch this with you. Believe it or not, yes. I love the movie too. I can't believe it. That's a good movie. Hey. Hey. Sabers Park, yes. this is for you. Thank you. Every year, ever since 2013, you've been getting buffer and skinnier every single year. Not this year. <laughs> okay, uh, almost every year. What is your workout program, man? Uh, <laughs> that guy right there. Woo! 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 I, uh, it gets funny, I've been doing great up until, like, 2016, and then I moved to a new place, which, like, my roommates, like, left the kitchen cold in shape. It was, I was doing YouTube stuff full time, and it was hard to the gym, so I'm like, not as good of a gym as it used to be. But, Jordan here, Dex Blake, he uh, helped me up with a workout routine. Um, Jordan, you say is it what, 80% of what you eat, 20% exercise or something like that? Well, like, the way that it's like a really, like, school, so like, you have to, if you get the workout right, you have to sleep right, and you have to eat properly. Do you have to eat properly? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't have what? to eat properly. You call properly. So, <laughs> yeah, so uh, just, uh, I, I listen to yeah. advice about just doing do cardio, being consistent, uh, cut out soda, fried food, eating better. And, and you guys do it all in one punch. One punch. Actually, that workout will probably tear you apart. It's yeah. really unhealthy. But still, uh, that it's, I think the hardest one for exercise is just mental discipline. And that pours over into other aspects of life where it's like, okay, I gotta, I gotta get up and I got to go to the gym, even for an hour. Like, it sucks, you know, waking up and like, I don't want to get bed. I don't want to stop doing this, but afterwards, like, I mean, it's a chemical that's releasing. Yeah, it makes you feel better. And it helps you, like, okay, I want to keep this up and we'll come up with a project now. 
cold and make dinner and not have to order pizza or something like that. So, yeah, it's contagious, but it's, it's that first few weeks or a month of building that discipline and then it's like smooth sailing. And so you crash your boat and see what we're making. <laughs> Leaves the kitchen a mess. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Kind of related questions. Do you feel here for rifting is magic? How long does it take you? And do you think you're going to start running out of bad pony movies to review? <laughs> And how do you find them? We found out that uh, we've actually found the mother load of bad pun movies blessed the 1990s. They were they had our back. <laughs> but there is like a surplus of bad pun movies out there. And there's the ones we, we reviewed, like the review we riffed on, that was from this year. Like that was, that was new. That was, we, we don't prep for it at all. We just find the movie and say, let's get on stage and just talk about it. So, so I, I have never seen it, Saber. I we found it, I Google it and go, I watch the trailer, and I'm like, is this worth our time? Oh yeah, this horse is talking, this is worth our time. <laughs> yeah. We, we did that last year. Yeah? No, but you should do it in Yahoo's line. Ooh! I was yelling out Princess of the Pony. Oh, Princess of the Pony. Yeah. Heard that every classic when Luigi gets mad and tries to... That guy had such an epic mustache in that movie. <laughs> and then we like skipped it because we didn't have enough time. Also, there was like a snake biting him, and we're like, what just happened? Not as bad as the shovel wielding villain. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in these movies? Hey! Hi again. Um, Saber, it's been pretty well established for a few years now that one of your, if not your absolute least favorite episode is Mayor Do Well. Yeah, I know. Um, what about the rest of you? Um, Daring don't. Um, mainly because like I, I don't like the idea that Daring Drew was like, became like a real like person. I mean, because like, I thought it would just be like an art author like writing about it. I actually have the same answer because it really threw me off. I'm like, yeah, it's like what? Weird. I mean, like what they've done with it moving forward has been okay, but. But just the whole idea of like, oh, wait, no, so this pony that like, writes about these adventures is actually the pony. I'm like, what's going on? I don't know. So yeah, I think, I think that one was just a bit drawing for me. I don't remember the name of the episode that was season or episode three of this season, the, the baby episode where uh, Twilight's the aunt. I actually really don't like that episode that much. But um, it does have one funny bit where Charlie's drawing on the chalkboard. Oh yeah. Or she has like some written on the chalkboard and the, the baby embraces it or whatever. And she's like, I guess I'll just rewrite it. With my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and the Earth Pony struggles are real though. Yeah. Like, but yeah, I'm not a fan of that episode. I don't know. How have they built their society? I have no idea. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, we have five minutes left. So if you have any more questions, do not be shy, come on up. Yeah. Uh, mine is real short for you, basically. Really specific. Did your wife ever let you get more of these Zenobia <laughs> copies? Why? Your, your wife? The list. She sure has not let me get it. Sarah... Well, I'll, I'll put it this way. I have four Blu-ray copies. One of which someone gave to me. I don't know if they're here. I think they were coming to running up, but I don't know if they're here. But uh, they gave me an Australian version of it. And uh, I was like, that's awesome. Wait, an Australian version of Utopia? Yeah. Did they talk like this? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> the the, the newscasters do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, oh, that's really it. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. No, and, uh, but it was, it was cool. You know, it's, it's regional. Yeah, right. Um, but uh, I, it was a still look, and, and I have a couple versions because it, we have we have um, a, a bunch of uh, each one came with like different extras, and I wanted to see all the extras. So I got the Target version. Yeah, I got, I got the Target version. Then I got the, the blue box version, and then I'm like, oh, but I need to get the gold version. And that's where Sarah, Sarah eventually cut me off. She's like, you don't need this one. I'm like, I do. I do. <laughs> I do need that. You got a problem. Hey. That's what she says. Yeah. Hey. So, 
Yeah, my question is for all of you. What's the stupidest thing you've ever done in a video? The stupidest thing? Yeah. Uh, why well, I and I shot a teddy bear with an AK-47. <laughs> yes! That was awesome! It was in a train track, and these, this, tr this train was coming through, and the guys are like, driving by slowly looking down at all the stuffing of the bears all over the place. We're just holding our guns down to the ground, and we're like, ah! <laughs> um, well, I used to make music for the most part, but I did, not for the cause, the cause was great, but remember the ice bucket challenge? Uh, I did that, and immediately after the ice was poured on me, I was like, that was stupid, that was so stupid. <laughs> so cool. Um, I like wearing the shark, shark costume. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the most dangerous things I've done is a series I have called My Little Vegas. Uh, oh yeah. I go around and I interview drunk people or other substance under the influence. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know like how things are are gonna go, but maybe I should be more careful. Anyways, they they turned out to be pretty exciting, so I enjoy doing those. Hopefully, I'll be able to do some more. Yeah, I like interviewing drunk people. I believe this is our last question of the panel. I'm the whole people. Oh, cross. No pressure. Um, <laughs> so I was at your hoops line, and I noticed a few times you would nope out of something. You'd step forward, stop, and go back, and <laughs> realize you no. Know, have you ever put any thought into maybe considering having it in the chaos panel, so you had no restrictions? Well, we. <laughs> The only way to make that panel work would be in main events because of, of the of the stage setup and just the sheer amount of people we have show yeah. up. But there have been conventions that have shown interest in us doing an additional news line that's like an 18 plus, and we have done one at Fiesta Equestrian before, back when that convention was still around. And um, it's really interesting not have because like part of part of the charm I think of like news line, both watching it on TV or like what we do when we're doing it in front of an audience and it's a family friendly audience, is that we need to, if we want to make a joke that's not family friendly, you got to make sure it goes over every head. Yeah. That, like, you know, it's kind of like how Disney movies sometimes do it. Like, well, yeah. Ren Stimpy was that way when it's on Nickelodeon, so we got to be clever to get these jokes in and not like, I mean, they, they really pushed it off. Like, but still, there was never anything like them saying a curse word or anything like that. And, was that? I don't remember that. What happened? She was hit by a car. And she was like, I didn't say that, so I'll have to Oh. Well done, actually. Cool. Cool. Well, awesome. Well, thank you for your question. Thank you all for your questions, and thank you for joining us. Thank you. We're exciting. I can't wait to find the pictures. We'll be out here in the lobby area. I'll always be in the block traffic, like over there. So, guys, thank you for joining us.